Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Lenovo ThinkPad T16 Gen 3. Seven captive Phillips head screws are standing in the way between you and the internals. When the screws are out of the equation, pop the two zones behind the hinges with a lever tool. Fully pry the rear and then the sides. It's not necessary to pop the front. Just tilt the panel and lift it away from the chassis. The bottom panel houses dust filters for the ventilation grills. Our laptop has a base 52.5 watt hour battery. You can opt for the 86 watt hour model if you need a longer autonomous life. The connector is built into the battery. The unit is held in place by two screws. Don't forget to wear gloves to keep yourself safe from electric zaps. The capacity is enough for around 12 hours of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the battery saver preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and set the scheme for battery to balanced mode in the BIOS. After that, just raise the front side of the battery. The WAN slot for optional 4G or 5G connectivity is placed beneath the fan, and the soldered Wi-Fi card is positioned close to the cooling's heat spreader. Sadly, there is just one M.2 slot compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. On the bright side, the NVMe drive here is additionally cooled by a long thermal pad from below. The RAM section is covered by a metal cap. To remove it, hold the fabric handle in the middle and pull it upwards. According to Lenovo, the two SODIMs can handle up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5,600 megahertz memory in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. The thermal system is rather basic, with only one fan, heat pipe, heat sink, and a heat spreader. 